Bankole, great to have you on the show. Uh, looking at our fixed income market, Bankole, with, like I just said earlier, drop in yields, increase in demand on the bank of, of, of information coming out of, uh, that JP Morgan is planning uh, to include uh, our country on uh, the FG bonds, the federal, federal government bonds, government bond uh, index. Now, uh, oh, the inflation number came out today. Are we going to see this uh, further impacting uh, yields and demand in the fixed income market? Yes, uh, the drop in inflation would only go to support what I started already. As at close of trade on Wednesday, these demands came in and then by Thursday it became very clear that FBIs were trooping in and bringing in foreign exchange to buy government bonds. Uh, they have targeted bonds of uh, two years maturity, that's 2014, 2019 and the 2022, that's 10 years too much 10 years um, tenured bonds uh, these are the ones that have been listed that will be quoted or sorry are planned to be quoted on the JP Morgan government um, bonds um, platform index uh, this I mean when this happens it's going to lead to more visibility uh, visibility for Nigerian securities in all uh, because the demand right now is not just concentrated like I said it's it's focused on bonds and T bills across um, all maturity. We haven't seen this demand for corporates and state bonds yet. But looking at the fact that um, state and corporate bonds, some of them have paid back uh, their first trench and then first bank, first trench bonds that were issued, corporate bonds. Uh, these ones have been paid back. Looking at all those positive news, fine. We're going to see more aggressive. Uh, market for bonds and T-bills. Oh, that's it's right. It's going frankly. to be bullish. Yeah. And I mean, I'd just like to ask you, uh, with this JP Morgan news, uh, how many uh, investors really are we seeing coming in? Or have we seen many investors uh, coming into the market? And give me an idea, a sense of uh, the increase in flows that we're seeing since the news came out. Okay, from the information I've gathered, of course, I don't have absolute figures, but um, I know that brokers are calling on a daily basis. We have struck deals with some uh, already, uh, and it looks as if it's just the beginning, like I told you earlier on. But I know that every bank that we have spoken to have also confirmed that they are taking positions, you know, uh, in, 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 in anticipation of this uh, uh, demand that we're talking about. Uh, and if you look at what happened with the FX, the foreign exchange moved drastically yesterday and touched uh, 156.20, which is the lowest in the last three months. This is uh, not necessarily because the CBN sold that, uh, more than what it sold in the upper week. The CBN sold lesser than what it, uh, they sold. So it wasn't like there was an influx of dollars from the C CBN. Uh, this is uh, FDI-induced drop or revaluation of the Naira. That, 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 that's basically a major factor to look at. Great. Uh, Bankole, of course, the link uh, has a slight problem. We apologize for that, but we'll keep going on. Uh, Bankole, looking at our Naira specifically, you just finished mentioning that. Uh, we, see, we see it sort of stable, uh, strengthened, strengthen though. Uh, do you, what's your thoughts on the sustainability of this? I mean, we do know we're seeing increased FDI inflows on the back of... Um, uh, what the news from JP Morgan, but we also know tightening some of those tightening measures we've seen from the CBN is this is the results uh, that we're seeing from those tightening measures. So how much how much sustainability do you think? How 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 sustainable is this? And of course, what is your outlook on the Naira? My outlook is a very positive one for the Naira revaluing. Uh, I foresee that it will touch 156 levels again. What happened when it touched 156.20 yesterday was that counterparties or speculators who had short positions actually covered and took their profits. Uh, when the next round of monies, next set of monies coming from FDIs between Mon Monday and Wednesday, you will see another dip in the dollar, that dip, uh, dip in the dollar against the Naira. We, I do not think it will get to the 155 um, levels yet, but we will definitely see 157, 156 levels, which is, I mean, easy. It will get there um, by next week, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just about um, CBN selling or FDIs. Uh, we also, I mean, following the trend, you would not like to have dollars, uh, a lot of dollars, when you know that the Naira will possibly revalue in the next few weeks. So going to next week, people would like to sell down and take um, the best value of what they have positions. Okay. Okay, well, very quickly, uh, Bankole, because we're running out of time, uh, give us a take on what's happening on the money market now, because we do know that overnight, overnight rates were still quite high. What's happening? 
Uh, what has happened today is that overnight rates have dropped drastically. Federal allocations have been released because of the public holiday. This is an anomaly. I mean, looking, at the, looking back in the, in the last uh, four months, um, federal allocations will usually come in the, at the end of the month. But because of the public holidays, these monies have been released and it has crashed rates. Uh, rates have gotten as low as 11%. Um, uh, what this might then lead to is that uh, uh, next month, the federal allocations will not be coming at this period. It will be coming towards the end of the month. So we we'll have a longer gap. Uh, of drought, of li illiquidity. So this in itself may affect the activity levels we have spoken about on fixed income okay. uh, securities, basically. But the amount that was approved was just um, over 350 billion. This money has hit the system already and has crashed rates at the overnight interbank market. Okay, well, thank you so much, Bankole, for giving us uh, that update. That was Bankole Odesanyo. He's an FX FI trader with UBA.